In this demo, I'm going to demonstrate how to add and change your skybox in Unity. Now by default, a lot of folks see this whenever they first open Unity. You have this kind of fading blue background. But what if you wanted to change this out? There's two elements you're going to need. You're going to need a material to act as the skybox, which also means you're going to need to generate a texture of some type to, type to act as your skybox. So just to show you here in my project folders under assets, under the textures here, I have two texture types. I have a self-created sky texture, and I also have a skybox material that is an actual graphic that I downloaded off the net. Now, what I'm gonna do is under materials, is I'm gonna right click and tell it to create. And what we're gonna do here is we are going to create another material. I'm going to call this S underscore maybe my skybox. Now, before I can actually apply the texture for it to act as a skybox, I'm going to have to come over to the inspector area. And under the inspector, where it says shader, I'm going to click on this drop down here. And under the drop down here, you can get different types of textures for different types of projects. You want to locate skybox. Now, for this skybox, for the first image I'm going to use, I want to use panoramic. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Notice first off here how the entire material changes. It looks more flat, but however, you can still choose a texture. So I'm going to come over here and under the texture, I'm going to click the small select button in the lower right hand corner of the texture box. So long as you have your textures located in your project somewhere, they will pop up here. As you can see, I can see both of my skybox textures. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this. And down at the bottom now, after I X out a select texture, you can now see the panoramic view. And I'm holding in the left mouse button so that I can pan around and look. However, if you notice, nothing changed in the actual skybox itself. We still need to actually assign this for this to take effect. So whenever you're coming in here, under the window drop-down menu, there is an option for rendering. And under there, you're going to see lighting. If I click on lighting, this is going to bring up a lot of information regarding light map settings and overall lighting for my project. But what we want to navigate to is the environment. And right at the top here in environment, you should see things like skybox material. I'm going to go ahead and click on the small bullseye here next to default skybox. Under the assets now, you can actually see all of the different options here, including the material that you just generated for S, my skybox. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And here you can see I've now assigned the new skybox and it now appears in my environment. To take a closer look here and kind of give you a little bit more background, Notice how, as far as the metallic material, you can see how it's actually starting to reflect as far as what is contained in the skybox here. Again, the skybox is more of what you are seeing, while the directional light that's acting as the sun is acting to give us the shadows here. Now I'm going to go ahead here and just demonstrate one more element here, which is going and using a self-created texture to make a skybox material. It's the same process where once again, I'm going to right click and create a material and I'll call this S maybe my skybox created texture. Once again, I will do the same thing. I'll click on the drop down and locate skybox and I will choose panoramic from here. I'm going to select the texture and I'm going to locate that sky texture that I made. Now, once again, it's the same process where I'm going to go under window and then I want to go under rendering and go to lighting. Once again, you're going to go to environment and under the skybox material, you're going to click the small bullseye and then you can change it over to your new skybox. And notice here again, you can see how it's affecting the other materials in the scene, especially if they have a metallic element to them. 
And that's the basics of creating skybox textures and materials and then applying them in your Unity environment.